The next train to depart is the one flat. Hi everybody, I'm Kyle. My name is Paul. And today is September 22nd. And since we love transit so much, we figured we'd travel to all 53 stations. To the trains! Come on, let's go! Public transit shapes our city's future. With an ever-increasing amount of people residing within this community, our city has started to branch out into areas that were previously empty. Lands around train and bus routes are being developed into commercial centers. We're making connections to why we are right now. Hundreds of thousands of residents have their employment dependent on the reliability of those systems and the increasing demand on road system means that public transit is the only way to sustain the development of the population and the environment. Pods, right? Yeah, most storage The next station is the terminal is like station, fire. YVR Airport. This is why our IB Geography 12 class envisions the day where the inconvenience of public transit is no longer an issue, that the journey on a bus would be as smooth and efficient as the journey in a car. Only this way will the city's economy move forward while preserving the environment. So what are we doing right now? So hey, welcome back. Uh, we just got off the, the Sky Train, and um, we're right here right now. As you can see, we're gonna hop on to the, the Stark Blue Line. Yeah, this is behind the scenes and uh, basically how we're going with this. TransLink's future is bright and green. There are countless possibilities for the future of transportation in Metro Vancouver. The SkyTrain network will eventually reach the North Shore, Langley, Delta, UBC, and potentially even more remote regions. TransLink will get newer and faster trains with the introduction of a new light rail transit in Surrey. The new electric-powered bus will also make commutes more enjoyable and environmentally friendly. In the distant but reachable future, driverless buses will make journeys reliable and reduce costs. <laughs> so where are we guys? We are on... As for the compass card system, it will be more user-friendly by having functions that automatically cap fare usage, which means transit users no longer have to buy day passes or monthly passes. The system will automatically purchase the day pass for the rider when single user's pass is purchased to reach the price of a day pass. Service will expand greatly to cities like Whistler and the Fraser Valley. Yes, last stop, let's go! Let's go! Let's go.
you. What? World record breakers. All the stations. Yeah. <laughs>